up everyone it's your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and today we are going to get into the face and eye illuminating powder from hermes so i told y'all i was getting this highlighter when it came out they did a pre-order on um Saks avenue so karen and i went ahead and grabbed it it comes in this cute little hermes box and i was just like yes and then when you push it sideways you can I did already have to open it because after the Patrick Ta situation being broke and mother's um, eyeshadow being broke, I was like, I ain't taking no chances. It didn't cost almost $100. And I'm not about to drive an hour and find out it's broke because then I had stabbed him. Um, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Now, I will say the component feels really like cheap. Let me see. I mean, so we don't have to put it on face. But the component feels really cheap. This thing retails for $95 and it's in the shade 1 Perma Brass. So. That's what it looks like. I'm just watching and compare it to some other ones when I get home tonight. I ain't got time for it right now because um, I have to leave my grandma's house and go to work. But I want to make sure I got the like demo portion up since I'm weird all day. Then I'll come back and talk about how it wore and then we'll do all the swatches then. Okay, girl? Because I ain't got time for that. And you can hear the alarms like, hurry up, ma'am. So, um, I am doing a battle of the two. So, tell me which side of the face you like better. You like this side better? Or you like this side better? Because I feel like they look pretty close to even. I feel like this one blends with my skin tone a little bit well, just closer up because this foundation has sunscreen in it and this one does not. But anyway, um, I'm not going to take the time to read the details on the highlight right now. I'm literally just about to rub it on my face and then, you know, go to work. Sorry. So let's get to it. Um, that's what she looks like. I rub in a little bit so it could be a little bit more blinding than usual. Because since it's a gelé baked formula, I felt like if I didn't rub in quite a bit, I wouldn't get hardly any, you know. out of it but yeah it's looking pretty nice on the skin i mean it just looks like a pretty average highlighter for like the price they're charging but i just wanted to try like something from them because it's like the blushes i felt like weren't working for people my skin tone my personal opinion i don't know if chris love lux did a um video on or not but y'all know i was getting this highlight as soon as i saw it, they released i was like yes i know morgan turner said she's not getting it i was just like oh, okay well i I wanted to try some of my lipsticks too, but then I was just like, I'm not spending that much money on lipstick, you know, like, most I'm spending on lipstick is like the price of mother charges, so, I'm like, if it's not the price of mother charges, please go away. I really like the way it looks down in the middle of my face, like on my nose, to me it gives me like that, just glow from within look for real, especially at the tip of my nose, I'm like, I'm really liking that. I don't know if I like it $95 worth, but you know, I like it, and since I already own it, I, it, I feel like it's good that I like it. Yeah, it's getting that nice... Subtle, you know, I look like I'm glowing from within look. But it's like I got other highlighters to do that for less than price. So let's see how this one wears. Especially since it's $95, you know. I need it to last like all day long. Like, you know, for real. But, I mean, it goes on smoothly. It glides into the skin and blends into the skin just beautifully and nicely. Why aren't you focusing on me? Thank you. So, um. I'm really liking that. I want to compare this to the Pat McGrath one that just came out though and see how what looks with that. But that was our application portion, ladies. I will come back later on tonight and you will get the swatches. Okay? Okay. So I have returned after many hours of wear in my socialite sandy boots. Um, yeah. So let's check out the face and see how the highlight is doing since, you know, if she calls $100, she need to be doing a whole lot. Hear me all that because honey 95 dollars. she needs to do everything she needs to cook she needs to clean she needs to have her hair done her nails done at all times you know she needs to you know be right with jesus christ our lord and savior as well she she need to do a lot because she up here with 100 dollars, and i can go get the maybelline um highlighter for like 10 bucks and be gleaming just as nice so she she needs to do a lot okay she needs to do a lot not just be named her mess. So I feel like you can still see the highlight right here and all along here. It just looks like a nice glow from within situation. So I'm definitely liking it. I'm not liking $100 worth. I feel like Mother can give us that same effect and she's only 60 if I remember correctly. So let me dig my little bag here and back y'all up just a little bit so we have some space for swatching. Take off my coat because we got to be serious about this swatching situation. I honestly forgot I had to swatch it to like right now. I was like, crap, I did not swatch them before I left. But I didn't have time before I left. So we're going to do it now, okay? Okay, thank you. Roll up my sleeve and be all professional. like. <laughs> so I have the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter from last year. Then I have Mother's highlighter from this year, the Lunar Nude. Then I have her Golden Nectar highlighter she came up with earlier this year with the Divine Rose Blush Collection. 
Then I have my new Dior highlighter. I feel like this is a little icy though and it's called Rosewood Glow. But we still gonna try it out just to see as far as like formula and like, you know, glow from within goes. Then I bought my Dior Gold, Pure Gold Quad. And I bought my Need Nude from last year from Natasha since she hasn't come out with one this year yet. I did bring Super Glow, but I'm like, the coloring of this isn't right. So I think I just bought it for like formula purposes to see how this formula swatched against another one. But since we have Need Nude, which I feel is going to be closer, we're not going to do that. But let's get to swatching all this stuff, girl, because it's like 1.30 in the morning. And I'm ready to go home. And I got to watch. I still got to drive half an hour back to my home. I just drove here to make sure this video went up today. So I'm just like y'all or something. I don't know. I, I guess I like it. Or whatever. Um, <laughs> let's start with this highlighter. So this is the Hermes. And it's really giving me the need a new feeling. It's really creamy and nice and soft. But again, yeah, y'all had to pay $95. It better be all that and then some, okay? But it's giving me the feel of Natasha's. And Natasha's doesn't cost as much. So there's that. If you got the Natasha when you don't need it, look, they look exactly the same. Natasha's cheaper. You can get Natasha's on sale during the Sephora VIB sale coming up. They are literally the exact same color. Dupe alert. We're going to have to put this on Instagram come tomorrow. But right now, I don't have time. So let's just focus. And y'all know what, it, what I say when I mean let's just focus. That means me. Let, let's have me actually focus. Instead of me rambling on about other things that we're not going to do for another day. So now we're going to swatch gold nectar against it. And this one is more, feels like a more thin formula. It doesn't feel as creamy as Natasha and um, Hermes. But again, this one seems pretty close too on my skin tone anyway. They all pretty much look the same to me. So if you want to get Mother's or you want to get Natasha's, get either one. The point is they look all similar to me. For the most part, I feel like these two run a little bit deeper than um, Mother's does. But, I mean, like, I feel like they all going to look close enough on the face. But if I told you I had on the Hermes one and I really had on Pat McGrath's, you would know. Now let's get into this Lunar Nude, which, I mean, the packaging on this is just stunning. And then Mother did her gorgeous embossing with this cute little crown. And I was just like, yes, Mother, give me all of it. My little chip on the end of my crown is like gone though because I've been digging into that one particular spot. But I'm like, okay, this one feels more soft like the um, one she, um, like the Hermes and um, I Need a Nude by Natasha. But this is um, Lunar Nude. This is Golden Nectar. This is I Need a Nude from Natasha. And then this is Hermes, just in case y'all have forgot. What order we going in? And I really just did that for myself. But I'm going to pretend like we did it for you though. I just had to make sure I kept up and put it in the right spot. Don't judge me. Now we're going to take, what is this one called? Um, Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter from Natasha, uh, from Charlotte from last year. Let's watch that. All of them seem to be really creamy and smooth. Um, Charlotte seems to be a little more um, powdery. Yeah, see this one looks really similar too. I feel like this one looks really similar to the two in the front. Maybe just a little bit deeper in tone. But again, I feel like once all these warm to your skin, it looks exactly the same. Now the question should be, why do I have many, this many highlighters in the same like color slash similar formulas? It's because I reviewed. Because I'm telling y'all, y'all know I, those aren't my type of shades of highlighters at all. But Mother made it, so I had to try it. And then Charlotte made it, and I was trying to get into her, but I'm, it's, it's really hard because she doesn't do a lot of what I like. Um, this is the Dior one. This is the only one I feel like that stands out so far, this one. And maybe this one a little bit now. I splashed this one on my hand, but... Well, honey, I can smell the perfume from here. And all I did was open it up and swatch it this one time. So, Dior, honey, calm down. I love you, but you need to calm down, girl. But these are all the swatches here. The last thing we have to swatch. Oh, yeah, so the Golden Nectar and the Rose um, Wood from Dior are looking really, really similar. Last one I have is the Pure Gold Quad from Dior. So, I'm going to just watch the two lighter shades to see how they look compared to it. And remember, Hermes is at the very front of my hand. Because I know we have swatched a lot, girl. Okay, I know we swatched a lot. It's okay, though. And then these last two are the Dior ones. So this Dior one, which is the first one at the top of the quad, looks really similar. And this is the last one at the bottom of the quad. It looks to be a little more icy to me. But these two, again, look really similar to the two in the front. Which, remember, this is Hermes. Um, Natasha. Um, mother. Mother. Um, crap, I forgot what order is in now. I think this is Mother too. Charlotte, um, Dior, Dior. So, that's the order we are going in. 
And those are all the swatches and comparisons I have, girl. I try to remember to put this on Instagram too for the people who not necessarily follow me here. Or if you just want to have it for reference when you are shopping for somebody my skin tone, I'll try to make it a highlight so that way you know we can remember. Haha. <laughs> make a highlight on Instagram of a highlight swatch comparison. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm done being lame now. But um I like the highlighter. I just don't think it's worth what I paid. Like, cause with taxes and stuff, this was a hundred and um hundred dollars and fifty four. Sorry, hundred dollars and ninety four cent if I remember correctly. And I don't, I don't think it's worth all that. It's nice, it's beautiful, it looks gorgeous on the skin, but you know, I just bought it to tell you that it wasn't worth it because I figured it wasn't gonna be worth it, especially since right after I swatched it next to Natasha, I felt like they look similar. So it's like just buy the Natasha one or buy the new Pat McGrath when it came out because at least you can get a discount on those when it comes to Sephora. Although Mother's highlighter isn't at Sephora, I noticed. And I noticed that that's in my um, eyeshadow palette left Sephora too. Like I went on there, it was in my cart and then it just disappeared. So I was like, I'm assuming she doesn't want it to like go down. Um, she doesn't want you to get um, the sale price on it when it goes on sale because you know, it's a new product she came out with and she needs to get all the money she can. She's not like mother and um, Natasha to, and Charlotte to where it's like everybody buys her stuff automatically just because she's her. So you do have to keep that in mind. So I couldn't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that during the sale because that was my plan. But Anyway, about this highlighter, it's not worth $100, girl. I feel like you knew it wasn't worth $100, but we're, we're just having the conversation now about how it's not. You saw it on my face, so you got to see it on a brown person. If that was helpful to you and you decide you want to splurge for your birthday or Christmas or whenever. So those are my thoughts. It's beautiful. I like the formula on it, but it's like similar to the Natasha Denona formula and similar to Pat McGrath's formula and Charlotte Tilbury's formula. You can all get those on sale during the Sephora VIB sale coming up, so don't waste your money, girl. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.